Stevie's been a couple of weeks since you, your last win. Yeah. Um, did you kick your heels a little bit, or did you need a little break? Um, obviously, it's not the best of time to have a wee stop because we were we were doing well, but it's always good to kind of sit back and recuperate and get on the training field again. And it's good for the manager to implement what he wants to do. Um, gives us that kind of couple of weeks to focus on the next five games because they're the most important games of the season. So we've had a bit of time to maybe take a step back and maybe slow things down and just walk through things in the training field. And so the manager can start, like I said, implementing his what he wants to do going forward. Do you set yourself a target for these five games? Um, to be fair, we've not actually set ourselves a target. Um, I think we're just taking each game as we go. I think we want to win every game, obviously, but that's easier said than done. But I th every game we're going to get into it hoping to win. So we kinda, I would say it'll be no whole barred from our side um, on the field as well. So no matter how we play, um, every game is a cup final. Because we're obviously, we want to get that third spot, third or fourth spot, we want to get as high as possible. And we know it's a big task with a, a kind of six point gap in between. So um, nah, it's, it's always play further because we've got every team to play and then we'll see what happens. You've got a fair bit of momentum though going into these games, haven't you? That must yep. help you. And given the fact that you, you mentioned the fact of trying to get on the coattails of third and fourth place, knowing that third at least will guarantee a European spot and potentially fourth spot as well. Yeah, definitely. That's the thing. Like you obviously don't know if it if the fourth you never know what's gonna happen in the cup final, so you never know if that full spot is going to get Europe, so you have to aim as high as possible, and that is third. And with the team we've got here just now, I think, and with the run that we've just had, like, we're probably the most informed team in the league at the minute, and we want to keep that going. Like, the manager implemented that as soon as he walked in the door that if we want to get as high as possible in the league, we have to have a first or second team in the division um, form. And uh, he said we've done that so far, so it's just about us keep going, and then this is the hardest part. Part was when you're playing the top, other top five teams in the country, you have to keep that run going. These games they, they tend to be pretty open matches. These last five games, whoever it is that's playing, you know, one another tomorrow, for example, is yeah. Rangers. Sunday, you've got Celtic, you know, Aberdeen, Kilmarnock. You know, they're all going for something. Yeah. And I remember back last year, I mean, even the last day of the season, it was. Hibs five, uh, Rangers five. Yeah. That was quite remarkable, wasn't it? You know, so there tends to be a lot of goals and is it players maybe got the shackles off a little bit? Um I wouldn't I, so obviously I've never been in this situation so I don't really know, but looking from a back and looking at see what especially what happened last year, it just makes that the league that more much more exciting when you have that split because all the teams that are playing each other are all aiming for that European spot or top third, um second spot as well. So it is, you get into games, every team wants to win. I think that's what makes it more exciting because some games you might play, be playing for a draw or something like that just to get a, an away result. But all the points are there to play for for these last five games and every team will be the same. Every game you look at, top six and bottom six, every game is like a cup final for every team and you want to win. You want to get as high as possible and I think obviously Speaking from the top six spot, everybody wants the European spot. It's like obviously we had a bit of a taste of it last year, and it was brilliant. Like from our first season, especially to to be able to go away to different countries playing the European stage. Obviously, we, we liked to go a wee bit further, but um, you enjoyed that, though. That, you know, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, that was a big thing. I thought I felt when I was joining Hibs, is that was one thing I spoke to the manager about was obviously that European kind of test as well, and you you want to test yourself in the highest levels and. Out with the league, that is what you, what you, what you want. That's where you get all the rewards from as well as European games as well. You see Celtic do it every year. Um, all the accolade that comes with them. So why not Hibs? Like why can we not go on a, a kind of European run and we'll see what it takes us, but we have to get there first. Yeah, depending on what happens tomorrow, of course, Celtic could wrap up the title. Hibs are unbeaten in the league anyway. Mm -hmm. Under Paul, yep. um, you want to maintain that record, Celtic? Well, Celtic are only thinking only beating Paul, you know, since mm -hmm. he came in. Uh, I think that's what kind of sets up for a, a massive game. Obviously, Celtic can potentially win the league, and we've we've got had a, a good run of form. And the last time we played Celtic in in the league at home, obviously we had we got a result in one. So I think that's which makes it this game a little bit more important. It's the first game in the split, and you want to start as you mean to go on and. Um, that, that's what you want. You want to play the top teams, and obviously Celtic are the top team in the league just now. And 
I think we can from the way we're playing just now, it's going to be a big game. And I think if we do what we we know we can do, um, I think we've, we've kind of come on a bit leaps and bounds since the cup game. And I think we, we can get on to our best. Is there a drive there? The idea that Celtic could win. You know, is that pushing you guys even more? Would you say it's not even entering your minds? Um, I wouldn't say it was in our mind at all, to be honest. I don't think the managers ever spoke about that. I think we're just kind of solely focusing on ourselves. Um, I mean, if it was any club, if anybody could win the league at Easter Road, it's all about we have to focus on ourselves. And the most important thing we need is three points, no matter what happens. Um, yeah, I would say we're not even kind of thinking about that just now. And what would you say in terms of? Having the knowledge, Celtic are the only team that have beaten you since Paul's taken charge. What kind of knowledge have you gained since then? Is that something that you've been working on with, you know, a view to knowing that you'd be playing them again? Yeah, definitely. I think obviously you can, you learn from your mistakes, and we have um, done a lot, a lot of analysis in the previous game. So I think we're, we're going to, um, and on Sunday with the game plan we're going to have, and hopefully we can win with that the game plan. Obviously not saying too much, but. Um, we do. When you, we always, we always, no matter who we play, we, we look back on video analysis on uh, that's what the manager's big on how we played in the previous games. So if we change it, if we don't, we don't know yet. So um, nah, that obviously with Celtic was the only team that's beat us so far. It just gives you that probably extra drive to show that we can beat anyone in the league, and we'll hopefully we we'll do that start on Sunday. Well, you talked about momentum earlier, but how much is belief then a part of that? Because wins obviously build confidence, but a team going into play, someone like Celtic has to have a huge amount of belief. Yeah, no matter who you play, you have to have a bit of belief. Um, if you look at last season and this season, we've always took points from Celtic. Um, so the belief's always going to be there. No matter who we play, we're always going to believe, especially at home, that we can go out there and win. Um, and we've always had that. The club obviously we had a, a, kind of a slow spell throughout the middle of the season, but since the managers came in, I've picked up and we've probably played the best football we've been playing all season. So. You can't complain, and I think we can. We can. I don't think we could be in a better position just now. We go and face Celtic on Sunday. Um, it's also the Player of the Year next weekend, mm -hmm. um, and your names came up a couple of times. A potential contender for that. How would you reflect on your first season at Hibs, or is that something you'll more do at the end of the season? Um, it's obviously it's, it's hard to say just now because it's not finished yet. But like I'd say so far, um, like I've said on a, a lot of occasions, I can I come in. Probably in a, a very a high, just joining a new club, flying, and I kind of took a, a, a dip in form. I'd say I've, I've always been like my biggest critic, and and it just kind of t um, turned out that that's when like our team kind of had a wee dip in form as well, and we couldn't get a win. So I was quite disappointed in myself. Um, I want to I always want to keep my standards as high as possible because I want to always have a chance to be in the team. And with all the players we've got coming back fit just now, everyone has to be in top form. And I think personally, that since the managers came in and stuff, my performances have picked up and I've started doing well and I've kept my, my name in the team. Hopefully that continues, touch wood. But um, no, that, especially when you've got a kind of big squad with everyone coming back in fit, um, you have to be in your top. You have to be in your top side, and that's what makes it. That's what makes it more interesting because now we've got the boy Ryan Gold coming back, like big Marvin Bartley's back, everyone's back fit. They all want a place in the team. And, now I think everyone's on edge as well. Everyone wants to win. Everyone wants to play their best as well to help the team. So yeah, I would say it's been a good season. I think for myself, especially only playing maybe eight or nine games last year. So it was I did miss football quite a lot. But now that I'm back, but I want to kind of grab on with two hands. And uh, you've been used in quite a lot of positions this season as well, especially in the midfield, you know, deep line playmate for the right, yep. number 10. Have you got a preferred position or are you just sort of happy to play, be playing? <laughs> Honestly, happy to be playing. Um, every position comes with different responsibilities and roles. Um, like I've been with the new manager, I've put out on the right, and he's brought me back into the middle, then a number ten. So I think um, just shows that the manager can rely on me whenever I'm needed, and that's obviously a good, a positive for me because if I can play in a, a number of positions, then I could hopefully get more chance to stay in the park. So um, I always, I've always been a centre mid. I've always been comfortable in centre midfield, but. As long as I'm helping the team and I know I'll play anywhere, I'll play right back if it means I'm playing the park. So, yeah, I'm just happy to be playing, to be honest.